What's up, everyone? Silva here. Welcome back to the Kickback right here on Wave. We have sudden death in the house. Yo, what up? Yo, what up? You guys, really quick, if you guys have any questions or comments for any of the guests here, go ahead and drop it in the comments section, and we'll be sure to answer your questions. Sudden death, my man. Thank you so much for joining us today right yeah, here on the Kickback. Thanks for having me. So tell me a little bit about your year. I know you've been performing a lot this year. Is there a more memorable moment of this year? Because I've seen your name pretty much all over the place and you got a big year ahead of you um last year was like really crazy especially with me and yaks we did like both of our first tours uh together um we did i think like 15 shows together and um yeah i mean uh every every show was like like really memorable to me like um like we especially from the beginning uh i've always been into like um Lots of like crazy like crowd control stuff like uh, like mosh pitting and tell stuff me like how that, that works because I see all these crazy crowd control videos. How, have you ever kind of done that yourself while you're up there? Yeah, yeah, that's like like what I really love to do actually, especially when I'm DJing and performing and stuff like that. That's like my number one thing is like basically telling people to fight each other, um, <laughs> but. Uh, but in a nice, calm yeah, way. Yeah, like a nice way. Like, like don't, don't actually hurt, like. Yeah, thing. yeah. And if you do, you know, what I mean, like, just pick up your homie. Like, don't, uh, don't be so serious. Like, it's all. Just pick like, him up fun, and like keep rocking out. Lot. Yeah, exactly. Tell me more about the Bygor tour. Um, so, what dates are you playing with that? Uh, the Bygor tour, I'm playing in uh, Houston and Dallas and um, Kansas City. Okay. Yeah. And and what date? Do you know what dates those are at, so our viewers can kind of look out uh, for those? I don't have them memorized. Right oh, now. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you guys make sure to head on over to Bygar and find out when Sudden Death is playing, because you're not going to want to miss yes. that. They are on the internet all those days. Um, I noticed I mentioned, or you mentioned Yax. Is he kind of like your go-to back-to-back person to play with? Do you have a favorite person to go back-to-back with? Yeah, I mean, like, we have, like, kind of an unspoken bond, you okay. know? It's, like, I deeper, that. you know, deeper than physical. Okay. Um, But, no, I mean, he'd get mad at me if I didn't say that was true, yeah, so. But, um, yeah, no, I love going back-to-back with Yaks. Uh, uh, like, him, Insomnium Sound, um, like, two of my, like, really close friends that, like, uh, when we perform together, um, we always, like get crazy reactions like everybody seems to love it and like it's I always feel like super comfortable doing that too it's like really fun yeah you can just yeah. go up there and be yourself and just yeah. get crazy um are there any up and coming releases that our viewers should look out for from sudden death in 2018 um I mean number one I would definitely say angel style by me and Somnium sounds um I've been really really stoked on that one and uh basically every single time I play that it's like an instant mosh pit like everyone is just like goes crazy that song um and it's been like that because we, we made this song like probably like six months ago and like we've been like adding to it um for like the past like six months and um like the final result is just insane and then also i have like um a bunch of like upcoming stuff like stuff that's not gonna be dubstep and i also have a bunch of stuff that's like uh I have a new EP that's dubstep, it's going to be pretty much predominantly dubstep. Um, it's going to be out on like a really dope label. Uh, but yeah. Um, there's a lot to look exciting. out for. Yeah, there's a, I have a ton of music. You got a busy year yeah. ahead of you. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we're going to answer some fan questions right now. I have yeah. one coming from Quadro. Why are you the synth god? The synth god? What does that come from? Um, I mean, honestly, like a lot of my synth work, I guess, is like... Uh, um, done in post-processing so I'll get like a lot of like simple sounds that I make in like uh, in like Massive or Serum or Operator or stuff like that and then um, I'll turn them into audio and uh, kind of like work from there like it's, it's always and then I use like a lot of Ableton effects so it's just like a lot of my sounds um, at their core they're like really simple like in a synth so I wouldn't be a synth god. Like I really am, like kind of bad at making synths. But um, the when, wall like, comes down. Yeah. When you talk to the man himself, for yeah. sure. Well, it's not. It's not. It's not that complex, but it is at the same time. Oh yeah, god, yeah. For sure. Um, are there any new cities that you're looking forward to playing this year that you haven't played that you're super stoked on? 
Um, I've never played Grand Rapids. That's that's gonna be cool. Uh, let's see. Um, I mean, like pretty much anywhere in the United States. Uh, I basically only started playing shows. Um, in the, I mean, like I played in the United States like a bunch over the past like two years or like this year. Uh huh. 2017, basically. So not this year. Obviously. We're like about a weekend, so it's it's fine in the new year. Yeah, sure. yeah. Um, but basically, uh, I'd say, um, yeah, pretty much anywhere in the United States, I, I really missed out on a lot of uh, shows up until the end of this year, like with working, um, you know, uh, with me and David's or Yax's tour. Uh, we we played a bunch of cities that I've never played before, and like yeah, I'm really excited Pretty about much playing. Pretty anywhere new. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. We have one more fan question. Are you a music fan of anything that we would be surprised of? Like, do you have a guilty pleasure? Um, musical taste that you're willing to let us let our viewers know. I mean, I have like a lot of musical guilty pr- pleasures, I guess. Um, like it could be Cardi B. Yeah, I mean Cardi B's sick. Yeah, I'm not. That's that's. I don't feel like that's a guilty pleasure though. I mean, like she's just like. I feel like everybody knows that knows that she's pretty cool. True. Um, uh, I don't know. I'm like really big fan of like Britney Spears. So, so am I. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like it's not really like a guilty pleasure though. I mean, like Shout Britney, out Britney Spears Britney. is sick. She she's not even a guilty pleasure. She's just dope. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I don't know if guilty you like pleasure you really like. defines it. Yeah, For sure. I like a lot of music. So me too, and we have that in common. Yeah, awesome. Really well, thank you so much for joining us. I can't wait to see your set, everyone. Set in death. We got Yaks on the deck right now. Stay tuned right here on the Kickback. Yeah.